Hello guys, this is Ethan from Jingle Mining. And you can see right here we have Canon Avalon Q. This miner is being really popping out recently, right? And I can say that this is a very, very good home miner and also performs well. So I thought I told to myself, why not just buy a new one and show you guys. So in this video, I will do a comprehensive review of this miner. And also by the end of the video, I will show you how to set it up. So uh, you don't need to worry about it. So now, Let's just do the most satisfied moment. Let's unbox it, okay? And here we go. And you can see the big package here. And here it says the net weight, net weight of the Avalon uh, Q, it will be 11.2 kg. Uh, I think it's all right, yeah? Bit heavy, but it's all right. Okay, let's unboxing it. Oh shit, sorry. Yeah, it's like opening a brand new PS5. Okay. Oh shit, it's pretty heavy. Okay, let's unbox it. Let me just try to do it slow, yeah? All right, what we got here? So first, sorry. We have the Avalon Q user manual, but with my video, you're probably not gonna need it. Okay, and under it, we can see there is first power cable. Oh, this is the car. It's for the very, very beginners. Yeah, the mining pool card. But it's all right if you just, if you lost it. So yeah, don't worry about it. But this is quite important. Power cable. Let's see. Yeah, just kind of like this regular power cable. Okay. All right, and here on the left side, what we got? Wi-Fi receiver. This is very, very, very important. So for the most of the home miners, you uh, can do mining wireless. But by the end of the video, I'll show you. And now let's see the machine. I'm trying to put it out. <sighs> All right, this is our main character. Here is the front of the Avalon Q. And you can see here, the outlet side. If you take closer look, you can see there's a filter in it. Can you guys see? There's a filter in it. And I um, think you can take it off after a long time mining and clean a little bit. And here we got uh, first, Ethernet cable, yeah? And here is the Wi-Fi receiver port. Uh, here is the dis display screen, and here is also very important. So first, it shows the um, uh, IP address. So it's quite important for setting up. And also, it shows the uh, current hash rate, you know? So you can know how's the state to. And here is the reset button. If you uh, failed at setting up at first time or you have some errors of your miner, just try to do the re uh, to push the reset button for like 10, 10 seconds. And here is the um, power button. And in this whole unit, we have two power button. It won't cut the power, it's just off. So it's on and off button. But here, by on the back, you can see on the um, exhaust vent, here's the power button to cut the power on and off. And here is the um, power uh, port. And by the side, we have the logo of the Canon. Very cute. If you're curious about the size, so the wide of the Avalon Q will be 13 centimeters. And uh, it's about also 44 centimeters tall. And 45 centimeters long. Yeah, it's all right. And also it's a good looking, don't you guys think? Like for, <laughs> for the, um, most of the miners. Normally they look like this. So if you put this 
at your home instead of that, it would be much better, right? Okay, and now let me um, show you how it performs. All right, guys, and now let's try to set up this Avalon Q. And we all know there's two methods to set it up. One is to put in the Wi-Fi receiver so you can mine the Bitcoins wireless. And one is like the regular way is to put in the Ethernet cable to mine the Bitcoin with the Ethernet cable. So actually you have like, I mean, maybe better connection than the Wi-Fi, right? Like more stable. Okay, so here's the important thing is um, the first time you set up, I think you can only do with the Ethernet cable. So uh, I'll just teach you the whole thing, okay? It's not gonna be very, very complicated. Yeah, it's just, it can take you up less than 10 minutes, I bet. First, we plug in the Ethernet port and then the power cable before you turn it on make sure it's off after you plug in wait here power and ethernet cable and then I just do like my way without the wi-fi receiver and then the ethernet cable the power cable and then turn it on all right and wait about a couple minutes and focus on the this display screen and you see those information here we go, we got the IP address of this unit. You see it right here. Okay, so we, wait, what was my IP address again? It's gonna show up uh, again. All right, point two point one one five. And then we go to the browser and put in the Wi-Fi, I mean, putting the IP address of this unit. Okay, and enter. And make sure your Wi-Fi is the same. Okay, so after we enter, we see this. The QR code of your unit. So first of all, you need to download this Avalon family app. That's why I was saying it's a little bit complex. I mean, if they have other Avalon machine, they can just control all of it in the app. So we go to Avalon family app, and then what you need to do is to go to the right side, you see there's a scan on it, and then scan first. Okay, and then scan this QR code. Do you need to add? Yes, okay. And then putting the IP address, you just enter the browser, which is this. Add, connecting, and succeed. Okay, and then you enter. If you want, you can just change the password and uh, let's try to do it at the laptop first because the on the phone you can just do anywhere anytime right so after we uh, at uh, this step you need to scan again and enter the password if you didn't change it before it's gonna be admin log successful and then you are at the back end of this unit on your laptop Okay, and uh, how we start to mine is to go to this pool, configure it, and then you can see there's pool one, pool two, pool three. And all you need to do is put in the pool address and then your wallet address and do it like three times. You can do like three different ones. If the pool one doesn't work, it will go automatically go to the pool two, you know, to be like more safe. And then submit. And restarting, you see. And then as soon as you see there is hash rate on the dashboard, that means your Avalon queue is running. See the dashboard first. So here is the time, how long you've been running. And here's the working mode. There is super and uh, eco and something like that. I think it's two or three something. You can change it. Like super means like at uh, running at full force. And then here is the working status. When it's fine, then it's fine. <laughs> when it's not, then it's not. Okay. And then here is the power consumption. And here the real time hash rate meet the standard. And then here is most important information actually is the average hash rate so this dominates the profits it means how it's doing in the mining pool and uh, 
directly affect your profit. It's only been running for three minutes. I mean, normally it would take like five or 10 minutes to meet the standard. So we can wait a bit to see if it's really meeting the standard like the Canon said, okay? All right guys, and I've been running for like four minutes right now, uh, almost five minutes. And you can see from the ASIC minor volume, I mean the standard hash rate is of this Avalon Q is uh, 90 tera hash and the power consumption is 1674 uh, watts. Uh, so it's 90 and 1006 something, right? And we go back to the dashboard, you see the power consumption 1663 watts and the current hash rate is 95.49 tera hash, which is even all over the standard and the average hash rate is 80 for now i mean it's just been running for five minutes but we can run it like uh, longer if you guys want to see i will show you guys in the end of the video maybe and all those information i mean the uh, current hash rate is also showing on the display screen you can just go to your avalon app and just see how is it and even change it and here even have a timer you can actually control when you want it to be working and when it's off. So maybe at the time when the electricity cost is not that expensive, you can turn it on. And when it's expensive, you can just turn it off, right? Very interesting. Uh, and it, here is the filter clear. So in the beginning of the video, I, I said to you guys, the filter, you can actually turn it off. This thing, this thing. Uh, later on, I will take it off to s let you guys see. So here it actu actually shows the, how dirty the filter is. <laughs> yeah, you guys know. So here is now is 1%. When it's reached to maybe like 50 or 60, that means you can, you need to take it off and clean a little bit if you want. <laughs> and if you have other Avalon's miners, you can also add it to here. Okay. And uh, you see now my miner is running, it's been running about 10 minutes right now and running at its full power because it's designed and uh, targeted as a home miner, isn't it? So the quiet and uh, the temperature effect is very, very important. You don't want to put a very noisy thing in your living room or, or even garage, right? Let's do the noise level so here is the uh, decibels when i'm speaking you can see uh, let's say it's 70 okay and as soon as i stop speaking i will just put it closer to the unit and see how's the level okay and three two one okay you see it's a uh, controlled at um, something like 50 decibels but I was putting it a little bit too close. It's about the noise of your PC generate, which is very, very good thing. And then how's the, like the heat it can generate. So I will point directly at his exhaust vent, which is here. And you can see there's fans already here running. All right, okay, and let's do it. All right, so it's 58 degrees and still not big deal if you like um in a, running it at the, the summer not a big deal so it's very 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 good news for the home miners okay and right now let's uh, show you how you can do mining with out the ethernet cable all right i mean with this thing wi-fi receiver okay so now it's like this uh what we need to do is um turn it off from here and then plug in this wi-fi receiver remember plug in before you power it on okay it's very very important otherwise it's not gonna work so we plug in the wi-fi receiver and then turn it on all right, and next we need to go to this Avalon family app again, and then add, and then here, search, and then you see this unit, which is QC8E6. 
and press it and then you see please confirm that the machine is about to be connected and then connect connecting and here you need to set up your uh, network which is Wi-Fi and uh, right now I'm using this as my phone also and here we need to enter the password and then you see succeed and then this this page again you see and here you actually still need to um, do some configurations all we need to do is here the pool for, for, uh, configuration and then do the pool address and then enter the wallet address or the worker name again still shows the uh, IP address on the screen wait uh, yeah which is this 0.2.129 you see it's actually different than we was doing with the ethernet cable so you can still use this IP address on your laptop let me change it okay and you see you are just entering the backend straight away and here you need to put in your password if you didn't change it or if you didn't do anything with it then the, the original password is admin and then log in okay and you are at the back end again so yeah and then here you can still do the configuration right here on your laptop and then you see it's the same steps like we did before oh yeah and uh, that's it that's how you set up with the Wi-Fi receiver I mean there's no reason I wouldn't buy it actually Oh yeah, and uh, at the beginning of the video, I said this thing you can actually take it off, right? Yeah, first you need to take out the Wi-Fi receiver, yeah? And then just pull from the side. Try it a little bit harder. Oh, and then that's it. It's off. You see, here is the filter very very cute machine very very efficient machine if you don't know how to purchase one of them or you want to purchase other any of the miners please visit our official website jinglemining.com and i'm ethan i'll see you next time